Hey everybody, I'm here today to show you how to do some basic video editing in Camtasia Studio. It's a really simple process and I'm going to show you some video editing essentials, okay? Let's get right to it. As you can see, I have a clip right here that is in my clip bin, okay? So these are the videos and audio files and even images that you will be using for your actual video, for the final edit, okay? So I'm just going to take this and I'm going to drag it onto the timeline right here. This is the timeline. So I'm going to click it and drag it onto the timeline and I'm going to drop it just like that. Okay, as you can see, let's just go ahead and bring the cursor. This is sort of the preview cursor and the editing cursor. Let's bring it onto screen. As you can see, I am upside down. So one of the first things that I'm going to show you how to do is how to rotate the picture. So if we go to the more, um, you need to select visual properties. Okay, now it might be over here, but if you don't see it over here, you need to click on more just over here and then the visual properties option. It brings up this menu right here and let's just say that this isn't blue. Nothing is selected. So you need to select the video clip that you want to edit. So I'm going to select this one right here and I want to rotate it 180 degrees so that I am right side up. I'm just going to type in 180 right here because this is the rotation option. Okay. As you can see, I have rotated this image. Okay. Very, very simple. Now, the next thing I'm going to show you is how to cut or how to split a video. So let's say this is all useless right here because I don't actually start talking until right here. This is what the audio looks like so I'm gonna bring it right before I start talking and you need to once again select the you need to select the video clip that you want to work with or that you want to edit so I'm gonna click this and I want to split the video right here so I'm gonna type I'm gonna click the S button just like that okay I'm gonna click the S button and as you can see I now have two video clips one and two just like that okay so I want to get rid of this one because it's all useless video footage so I've selected it and I'm going to click delete on the keyboard and now I'm going to drag this all the way to the beginning of the timeline so now as you can see at the beginning of the video it starts off with me talking very very simple so far okay now as you can see this is the audio right here and um, this is the audio and let's say that you want to edit the audio you can click the audio option once again if if any of these options aren't here you can click the more button right there so we're going to click the audio option and as you can see this video clip is selected so we can choose any of these options let's say that i wanted to increase the volume of this video i would simply click volume up just like that now you can also drag and drop this slider but it's easier for me just to go um, and click volume up or volume down let's say I wanted it to, to be a lower volume I would click volume down okay very simple let's just bring the volume up nice and loud just like that and let's say that I wanted to level the volume I would simply click enable volume leveling and you can choose what level of variation there's medium high low and then you have custom settings I like it being set to medium volume variation okay it's very simple so that is basically it with regards to splitting a video clip and uh, moving a video clip on the timeline you can simply drag it around um, splitting it is just bringing the cursor to where you want it to be and then clicking S. Let's say that you had multiple video clips. So let's say I was dragging a second video clip onto there. I'm just going to drag the same one onto another spot, but let's say you had a second video clip. So I'm going to drag it onto another track, okay? Just like that. Um, let's say I wanted to have sort of like a picture in picture effect. And this is useful. Uh, it's a useful um, tip if, if you want to uh, simply. Um, if you want to simply change the size of a video, I'm just going to cut this right here. I'm going to click S just right there. Okay. And I'm going to delete this. Let's drag it to the beginning. Okay. Let's say I wanted to have the upside down version. I would simply go to visual properties. As you can see, this one is selected and I'm going to bring down the size. So I'm going to scale it down. So let's go ahead and scale it down just like that. Okay. Make it nice and small. And then let's say that I would drag this, um, to the bottom right hand corner. So I can move each video clip around. So I'm going to bring this to the bottom right hand corner just like that. And now I have sort of this picture in picture effect. Let's just bring it nice, nicely in the corner right there. And now I have two video clips that I can work with. Now let's say that I went to the end and I brought the cursor here and I wanted to end the video here. If I wanted to split both of these, okay, you could uh, do a simple keyboard shortcut, which is hold control, hold shift, and then press S. 
or you could simply bring the cursor to where you want to split all of the video and audio and image clips and you can go to edit and then split all. Once again, you see control shift S, S, sorry, control shift S or split all just like that. It cuts all of the video clips, the audio clips, picture clips, anything that's there. And then I can delete these two excess video clips right there. Very, very simple. Now let's say I wanted to add some text to the video. I could simply go to the callouts menu right here, callouts, and then I could click this drop down menu and I could add text. So I'm going to click text. Now I can type in whatever text I want to type in. Let's say I want to type in hello there, just like that. I could highlight it. I could manipulate the text like this I Can make it a different color. Let's make it this nice green. And then you can actually, um, you know, increase the size of the box and then drag the text around. Now, if I scroll up on the timeline, you can see that the text fades in, fades out and has this duration. So you can actually just change, let's say, you know, I didn't want it to fade out. I would just bring this to zero. Let's say I wanted to make the text on the screen for longer. I would drag this out just like that. Okay. Another useful tip is let's say I'm just going to, I'm going to unselect the text. Let's say you wanted to blur out someone's face, like my own face right here. I would click this drop down menu and I could go to the blur call out. Okay. So I could bring this to my face. Um, I could change the size of the blur just like that to blur out my face. And then once again, you can see it uh, will scroll up so you can see the you can see the blur call out. It fades in, it fades out. Let's say I didn't want any fade at all, just like that. And I can move the actual call out to later on in the video and make it much larger. So now if, let's just say that I'm previewing the video. I would see the blur come into effect right there and then it would go away right over there. It's actually very simple. Now, another quick um, thing that I wanted to show you is transitions. So let's say that I wanted to cut this video clip and allow a transition to happen. Uh, let, we'll do this one down here because it's much bigger. I would select the video clip. I would split the video clip. And this is also useful if you have two separate video clips that were never one. Like if you had two completely different video clips, you would go to the transitions menu right here and then you could choose a transition okay so let's say that i wanted uh, a fade through black transition i would simply click on it drag it and drop it between two video clips just like that and as you can see there would be a very simple uh fade through black transition it's hard to see on the preview right here but if you if i were to just um continue inching forward you could see the fade through black just like that very simple okay um that's basically it that is the basics of video editing then when you're done your video when you're done editing and you want to actually produce it you would click produce and share up there and then you would go ahead and select your options but those are the basics of video editing in camtasia studio and i hope that you have enjoyed this video and that's all i have for you today thanks for watching